Welcome back to CBS This Morning. There are new questions about how police handle mental health calls following disturbing video of a sheriff's deputy restraining an 18-year-old. The deputy was responding to a 911 call that the teenager, Nakia Trigg, was jumping in front of cars and threatening suicide. But she was not doing either when he approached her. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, spoke with the teenager's mother. Hi, Jerika. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. The teenager's mother, as you all can imagine, is highly upset by this. The Kaufman County Sheriff's Department is conducting an internal investigation. The deputy is currently on administrative leave, but the family says he deserves to be fired after what they say was an assault on Nakia Trigg and are questioning why he responded in the first place. We want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see is disturbing. What's wrong? Newly released body cam footage shows a sheriff's deputy only identified as Martin following a barefoot 18-year-old, Nakia Trigg, as she was walking home last Tuesday. What's your address? The sheriff's office had received calls about a young lady in the neighborhood attempting suicide by jumping into oncoming traffic. There are a young lady, an African-American lady that is walking in the middle of the street. I'm keeping an eye on her because I don't want her anything to happen to her. Three people have already had to swerve out of the way, me including. The situation escalates when Martin tries to stop the visibly upset teen from walking away. So we got a call that you were jumping out in front of cars, no, so I can't, I, let, I can't let you go walking off on okay, me now, okay? Okay, can I go home? Well, where do you live? <laughs> okay, so you can't go anywhere, okay? You got to talk to me. Okay? Let me call my sister! I don't want you to hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you, okay? <laughs> Stop pulling away. Stop I don't pulling. want you to hurt me. I'm not hurt you. If you pull away, I gotta put you in handcuffs, though. Martin's body camera falls to the ground, but for more than two minutes, the officer is on top of Trig. <laughs> I can't breathe. Please take it off of me. <laughs> she was probably afraid that she was about to be arrested, or worse, he's expecting a person who is in a crisis to be able to calm down and follow commands. And I don't know how realistic that is. Lisa Daly is with the Treatment Advocacy Center. She says people with mental health concerns are at higher risk of dying when interacting with police. What do you think could have been done differently? You can have first responders that are not police or that the police are available, but they aren't the primary response. So you might have somebody who's really trained in uh, de-escalate. The sheriff's office says Martin was following protocol, adding that in an effort to prevent the female from running into traffic or sustaining an injury, Deputy Martin executed a control technique taught by the Kaufman County Sheriff's Office. It's called a top mount and is commonly used in jiu-jitsu and allows the deputy to control the lower body without impeding breathing. Nikki Ray is Nakia's mother. If that is their statement, that would have been a move that he would have needed to do when she was still on the main road attempting to run in front of cars. When he got out of his vehicle and approached my daughter, she was on the sidewalk and about to cross the street, headed home. When she arrived on scene, she heard her daughter saying she couldn't breathe. Do you wonder what would have happened had you not gotten there sooner? That is one thing that I don't even want to think about. Why does she need handcuffs? <laughs> okay, okay. Trigg was taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation and released 15 minutes later, according to her mother. If someone is in mental distress, law enforcement, people who are trained to respond to criminal activity should not be those who respond to someone who is in mental distress. Kim T. Cole is the family's attorney and echoes Daly's concerns about law enforcement and situations involving mental health. They do not have the training for it. They're called out when someone has broken the law. This is not the same as a teenage girl who is having an emotional moment. When Trey complained that the handcuffs were too tight, Ray could not understand why the deputy handcuffed her daughter in the first place. She says she reached to rub her daughter's wrist to calm her down, but police say Ray struck the deputy. The video is not clear as to exactly what happened, but Ray has been charged with assault on a public servant and interference with public duties. Another concern for Ray, she says she got a call from the sheriff's office that Deputy Martin 
tested positive for COVID. Oh, that's like... Deputy Martin, who was on top of her daughter. Right. Exactly. Has, has her daughter been tested yet? Her daughter has been tested. Um, the mother's results came in. They're negative. She's still awaiting her daughter's uh, results. But this is, you know, we, we cover these stories all the time. Yes. And, and it's, you're thankful that we have the video yes. so that we can ask those questions. You know, this is under investigation and, and the officers on administrative leave. I'm but, thankful. I'm so glad that, that yeah. the girl is alive. Yep. But I don't understand why, in hindsight, 2020, why he didn't just walk behind her and just see where walk she was her going. Home. Walk She's her clearly home. upset. She's yeah, clearly upset, upset and afraid. And this afraid. is a perfect yeah. example of a case where yeah. you need someone who has better training to respond, yeah. right? There was never an allegation that she was violent no. toward herself or anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the fact that the mother was trying to de-escalate the situation, yeah. that shouldn't be her job, but she was very aware yeah. of the optics. And she got down to the same level as yeah. that deputy to say, what's going, going on? on? Yeah. The use of handcuffs is just inexplicable. I think a lot can be learned here. Thank you, Jerika.